Recall it now. Reclaim the lost sword. Let it illuminate the hero's journey. The one who shadows the eternal night. Behold the legend, Merlin. Magister Merlin? Magister Merlin! Are you all right? Magister Merlin, you don't look well. Did you have a nightmare? Ah, your old problem has reared its head again. I'm Dolly. We've been living together in the mystical house for a while now. I hope you remember that you're the great mage who has inherited the title of Merlin. However, you lost most of your powers somehow. Your memories are fragmented, and you often forget things. I woke you up because there's a fire on the other side of the river. It's getting serious. All the villagers will be in danger if we don't put out that fire. Chippy was worried and ran over there already. As you're familiar, Chippy wanted to protect your beloved village, so he rushed out to put out the fire. But the fire is getting out of hand. Will Chippy be all right? Do you want to go and see for yourself, Magister Merlin? I understand. Just take care of yourself. You've been in seclusion all these years. No one knows you're here. If you just go out like this, it might stir up some trouble. You know, you're probably the most famous mage in Asperia. Before going out, why don't you use some magic and change your appearance? Laser, laser cannon. Laser cannon. General Hogan, the water isn't working. You sand. Get these fires under control. Do not retreat. I wouldn't have recognized you if it weren't for Chippy tagging along. How about you dispel your disguise so I can see my old friend again? Ah, oh, General, the Magister's condition, you see? He's forgotten you again. It's okay, Chippy. No matter how many times he forgets, 
I'm happy to reintroduce myself to him. I am Hogan, the former leader of the heroic order of the Lightbearer Empire, and the current magistrate of Hollistone. We've been friends for decades, and our friendship will never fade, no matter how muddled your memory gets. But this is no time for small talk. Look at these fire elementals. They don't belong in Ryham. How could they just appear out of nowhere? Then our most pressing concern is to put out the fire. Please, give me a hand. Let's put these fires out together. Destroy. Laser. Needle. Needle. General, they've ruined my beauty sleep. This will cost you extra. Valen, you're just getting here now? Or were you deep in your cups again? That's not fair. I ran into a bunch of fire elementals on the way here. Those guys were really annoying. Anyway, looks pretty grim here. I didn't expect the fire to be this big. This is not normal, General. 
That's right. We think it's arson. The culprit is likely a mage. Whoa. A talking hamster? You're a familiar, aren't you? In that case, this gentleman with the general must be a mage. I gotta say, picking a hamster as your familiar is rather... unique. I'd normally overlook your banter, Valen. But in front of this magister, you'd better watch your words. It's rare to command such respect from the general. Well, magister, I am Valen of the Heroic Order. How would you like me to address you? Hmm, an interesting name. I will remember it. Forgive my rudeness earlier. I'll be sure to make it up to you once this fire has been dealt with. interested in who started the fire than in putting it out. I saw you casting a spell with my own eyes! It's not that easy to quench a greedy fire, my dear. I'm just trying to help. The Scarlet Sorceress is as beautiful as her fire is dangerous. That's what the rumors say. Dangerous? You're quite right. If this were my fire, you'd all be ashes by now. <laughs> So she's the Scarlet Sorceress. Chippy has heard of her. You're... Hmm? Magister, if Chippy is not mistaken, it seems like the Scarlet Sorceress is staring at you. What do we do, Magister? She's staring really hard. Never mind. You made me think of someone. The divination was right. This night was awful. I shouldn't have gone out. I'd appreciate not being disturbed any further. I'm leaving. You're not going anywhere, Scarlet Sorceress. All my wares are gone. I demand compensation. Don't push your luck, young man. I'm not known for my patience. Don't you dare try to get away with this. I'll make sure you're held responsible. Shh. Quiet. Something's not right. The wind. It's suddenly so loud.
You awake? How are you feeling? If I hadn't seen you pass out just now, I'd probably believe you. You passed out for a while. General Hogan and his men put out the fire. Then he returned to Hollistone. He ordered me to stay here and look after you. Before he left, the General told me to make sure that when you woke up, your memory was all right. What a strange request. Do you often forget things? Also, how much do you remember of what just happened? The Scarlet Sorceress, Muriel. You're a Magister, so perhaps you've heard of her. She was identified as the culprit by young Master Rowan. That kid with the huge bag and the duck on his head? He's Rowan, the second son of the wealthiest man in the Empire, and head of the Mithril Consortium. General Hogan took the two of them back to Hollistone for questioning. Muriel's attitude towards you was unusual. When you passed out, she was the first to get to you. Did you know her from before? That's... rather odd. Magister? Yes! You're awake! Chippy checked all around and didn't see any elemental beings. The village is safe now! Mr. Valen told you that General Hogan already left for Hollistone, right? The General will wait for us in the village, so we should go meet him in Hollistone. He seemed to have something to say to you. There might be enemies on the road. I'll go with you. Although, you might not need my protection. Of course! The Magister is the mer... <coughs> the merriest mage that everyone loves. Anyway, since you're feeling better, Magister, should we set off? However, before leaving for Hollistone, we should probably return to the mystical house first. Dolly must be worried sick. Need a hand, friend? Dolly! I brought back the Magister! You're back. I was worried. Trip. Don't be too happy. Magister fainted after casting that spell. And the Magister looked really strange, as if possessed by some weird force. Nonsense. Even the goddess Dura can't control Merlin. Perhaps it's just the Magister recovering. Chippy, what's with you? Why so pessimistic? That's not like you. Oh. You are right. The Magister is the greatest mage in all of Asteria. Everything will be fine. That's what I like to hear. Magister Merlin, you seem to be in quite a bit of trouble. Shall we find someone to lend you a helping hand? Leave it to me. I know a few people. May flowers blossom across this land.
took you a while. I've been waiting out here in the cold all day. They say it's always autumn in Ryham, but right now, it's more like winter. It's said that Merlin's ward has long protected Ryham. It's the only reason that people can actually live here. But recently, Ryham's been getting colder. It's almost snowed the past few days. We've come with the Magistar to investigate this change in weather. My apologies, Miss Hamster. I never got your name. Yes, we should be introduced. You are Valen. I am Hammy. Are all your familiars hamsters? Nope. Chippy told me that General Hogan ordered you to protect the Magister. You must know that serving the Magister is an honor, but it's not easy. I'll be observing you. I hope you'll become a competent retainer. Apologies again, but I have to correct you. I'm a knight, not someone's retainer. Protecting him is just my current task. It's not a lifelong post. Unless your Magister is someone like the Great Merlin, then I may consider it. Did I hear that right? Well, the Magister, he is Mer- Ouch! Why did you just step on my foot, Hammy? Oh, sorry. Chippy likes to spout nonsense. Don't mind him, Mr. Valen. Once you spend some time together, you'll realize that although the Magister isn't Merlin, he is just as powerful. You'll see that he is practically the same as Merlin, except for the different appearance and name. Okay, I'll just wait and see. We should get going. I really want to get to Hollistone as soon as possible. I need a hot drink to help me warm up. Dura above. I really hope the General doesn't give me another assignment. Anyone need Hammy to do some magic?
Listen to the voice of the flowers. Onward, fellow knights! to the voice of the flowers. Victory blooms most beautifully. Listen to the voice of the flowers. Just as I expected.
the color and clarity are phenomenal. Oh, <laughs> hello. May the lucent tree bestow its blessings upon all. Just need to protect you. Not that you need it. It's time to show you my moves. Listen to the voice of the flowers. Just as I expected. Just as I expected. Great. You seem to have pulled yourself together. I was really worried when you passed out. So, how are you getting along with Balin? I hope he hasn't offended you already. Really? That guy's usually a handful. That's not fair, General. These two little hamsters were watching my every move. I didn't slack off at all. Well, considering you helped us fight all the way here, I'll score your performance on the Magister's behalf. 80 out of 100! Keep up the good work, Mr. Valen! Yes, of course. Thanks for your encouragement, Hammy. Let me say this again, Valen. He was sent by me specifically to look into the changing weather. To ensure success, you must spare no effort in assisting him. Furthermore, 
You must ensure his safety. I totally understand, General. Ah, <sighs> Valen is my most trusted knight, both in strength and in character. His only shortcoming is probably his big mouth. Anyway, please teach this young man a thing or two during your time together. You can be as strict as you need to be. Stop teasing me, General. We should get down to business. The fire at Ryham was clearly arson. Yes, the young master of the Mithril Consortium identified the culprit as the Scarlet Sorceress. Rowan believes that she was the one who summoned those fire elementals. The Scarlet Sorceress, however, denies it all. I questioned the Scarlet Sorceress before you arrived. I asked her what her reasons were for coming to Ryham, but she didn't say a word. What about you? Do you think the Scarlet Sorceress is the culprit? As it happens, the Scarlet Sorceress did say something. Just one thing. But it made me think. She said that you'd exonerate her. She seemed convinced that you would find the real culprit of the fire. You and her. I don't mean to pry, but is she an acquaintance of yours? True, you have lost your memory. Some things you might not be able to recall. Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of all of this in our investigation. Oh, right. This is your first time in Hollistone, isn't it? Before troubling yourself with the investigation, you might as well take a tour around the village. I suspect you'll like it here. <laughs> Go, have a look around, then come find me. I'll be waiting for you here.